Hello YouTube, Nathan. Uh, today, uh, well, I've been having trouble trying to uh, get a video going. Anyway, um, I was going to do a little work. I found this in a trash can. Well, I uh, found it at the recycling center. It is a combination of fan and lamp. Now the uh, blades I'm just trying to get all the details out right now. Uh, the uh, the fan blades, all it had was uh, the little fitting here. It didn't actually have the blade. So I uh, used a tidy cat uh, bucket to replace the plastic uh, fins. Hopefully uh, it does have a uh, it was like tilt. Uh, because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to take this back down and then fold them with a heat gun. Um, at the moment, wait, uh, yeah. Uh, that is the connection. All it is is just a tube with a hole in it. So I had to get creative and make my own mount. I could not find any at the store. So this is the mount. It's like three pieces, uh, something to bolt into the ceiling, give it a little, uh, the midsection to give it a little length, and a cord to go through it. And the top goes through the bolt hole. Now, uh, this particular one, particular thing, uh, fits snugly over uh, the pipe on the, the fan. Hopefully when I get it all together, it will work reasonably. If it does not, I'm going to have to take down the blades and pull them do that. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, show you the rest of it. This is the only light that we have uh, in the room, which is mainly a light on a hook. That's all uh, we have here. I'm stepping on a stool. It's very rickety. Hopefully I don't record myself falling. Alright. I already pre-drilled the holes here. So, yeah, no problems there. And it's very difficult to look what I'm doing with a light shining in my face. Come on, get in there. Trying to get two of them in there snugly so I can start off there with the drill. Just a little. I don't want to get all the way in there. Not yet. I want to get all the bolts in before I tighten them down fully. Let me know if I'm uh, doing anything wrong uh, by just like putting the thing right to the middle of this. So in there, all right. The next bit is to hang uh, the fan up there. Well, actually, I gotta wire it up first, then put the fan up. There. So I gotta put this on there and then hoist it up there. Now the tricky bit: getting it up there. Pull the wire back out. This is just a temporary wire until I could be able to find. Until I can pay for some electrical cord, I'd be able to stretch over to the front door where the switch is. I put thread lock on these uh, pipes so they wouldn't vibrate back off. Oh, that's heavy. 
Probably a two-man job. It's heavy. Oh, this is strain. Get in there. <laughs> This is definitely a two-man job. All right, I taped the wires. So. in there. Oh, I had to finagle which hole it was. through the thing and I have to put a nut on the other side this is how the fan is connected back to the ground I go I gotta mount these Got one screw in there, or bolt.
that screw in there. I need one more. And it fell down here. Bugger. That's why. Oh, shoot. I forgot to take that out. Uh, at least I seen where it went. chain through the screw hole uh, to get it out of the way but I forgot to take it back out. What is it about uh, non-magnetic screws? <sighs> Can't get it in there. screw right there. I've only got three screws to this part. Now if I lose it, I'm not going to be able to get it in. It's stalled. Okay. The lamps are put in. Now the blades. Okay, I guess the uh, thing go that goes on last. Okay, the process of uh, putting these blades up there. You take your uh, thing, go from the uh, left to the right. Now, the way this thing is uh, pictured is upside down. So, what you do is you take your screw uh, bolt and uh, I, I forgot what it's called it got in that gasket but a ring or something like that that goes around a tiny little nut ring place it inside of the hole hold it let it down and then press your screwdriver against it once you uh, hold it up to the hole and get it somewhat screwed in so it's just left hanging and then you do the same thing uh, well try to do the same thing with the other uh, screw by just trying to balance it on the end of the screwdriver or it's like st stick it in there it's kind of hard to do with only one hand but uh, anyways uh, use your screwdriver balance it and then get it through that hole and bind that down once you got them both in there, you screw them down tight. If you want to, once you get all the blades in, give them a good uh, turn to uh, one through three, four, five. See if they're all good. I had to move the wire out of the way so I could do it because it kept uh, the blades kept banging into it. All right, balance your screw best as you can. This is well, where if you had a magnetic screw that would be a lot better. Get it through the hole and mount it. Okay, that one's tight. Go back around and do the other side. That's tight. Alright, got one blade left. As I said, I hope this does work. Or I'd have to take the whole thing down again. And uh, bend the blades to work. Alright. Alright. And that side. Hold it down. Get it in there. Somewhat loose other screw in my pocket and my last screw
You scared me. Huh? You scared me. Alright. I thought something had broken in the fan. again. The way this is situated, there's a little uh, gap right here, which goes directly onto the, sw uh, the reverse switch, which makes the fan go forwards or backwards. I did not know if it uh, go forward. I didn't know if it went forwards or backwards until I tested it out without blades. Uh, these wires just connect into place. Uh, uh. As I said before, this would be a lot easier if I had magnetic screws instead of non-magnetic screws. Because I have to finagle the thing in there until it's holding by itself and then use a screwdriver. Alright, let's tie it down. got an extension cord and plugged into the thing. Alright. Cross fingers. Alright. Flip the switch. Well, it's on there, but try the other direction. There it is. There's that wind I'm, I was looking for. It's working. It works. Now the way I'm going to have this is I'm going to have it have the wire stretched over to the other side where the uh, light switch is where I had it for this and you know the lamp over here so we can turn this on and off. It's a bit a little A little joggy, but it works. Just a bit of uh, plastic, and voila, your fan is working. Thanks for watching.